Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Joe Suds and Soap. What I wanted to do today was um, I wanted to make more of like a springy type soap. So the, I'm using these color blocks, thanks again to Dennis, and it's lavender. And these are from Brambleberry. And this one's Fizzy Lemonade, pretty yellow. And this one's Mermaid Blue. I love this one, I used it before. Okay, fragrance oil. I'm using 10 ml of peppermint. Okay, right here I have 16 ounces of olive oil, uh, melt and pour base. And I have, let's see, 16 ounces of shea butter. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to melt this down 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to take it out, stir it, and just repeat the process so I can get all the chunks out. Uh, try and manually get all the chunks out that you can. Okay, we'll be right back in about eight minutes. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I was uh, painting some of the embeds here, so I've got blue all over my hands. I apologize. <clears throat> I'll show you those later. All right, so what I'm going to do now is start mixing my colors. All right. Here we go with this beautiful, um, just a beautiful, beautiful mermaid blue. I think I'm only going to do, I'll do the blue and yellow. I just don't think I have enough. Beautiful. Very happy about that. Do some rubbing alcohol. It always helps to mix everything up better. Beautiful. Alright, so I think I'm going to do the yellow. As much as I want to do the purple, I did too much purple. Also going to be adding my fragrance oil. Take the lid off. Boy, this smells good. It's peppermint. Make sure you mix up that very well. I'm also going to use some glitter. Check the temps again. Okay, 143. We're coming down. Okay, so here's the blue. So now we're going to do yellow. I think uh, blue and yellow look pretty together. Having a good day. Alrighty, let's mix this up. It's getting there. I think I'm going to add. I'm going to add a little bit more of this yellow. Let's see. Here's this gold yellow. Again, some rubbing alcohol. And 
much better. All right, so here's that beautiful yellow. I'm not a yellow person, but that's gorgeous. Start cleaning up over here. Okay, so I am just going to do the blue. I'm going to forego the purple. All right, so we're going to take our temps. I'm going to bring you guys back when this is cool. See you soon. Okay, we're back. We're going to get right into the pour. All right. I'm going to go in first with the white. Sorry, I know this is all. I had to tape it. It's my last mold, so i gotta got to get some new ones. Really high. Some of this pretty. I mean, we're really thick. Now I'm making some embeds. I I'm still painting them. So I'll, you know, bring that back, bring it back for that when I'm done pouring. All right, so I'm going to save, I'm going to save the rest of the top there um, for the embed. So I'm going to let this set and get a skin, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I'm really hoping that this doesn't break through. So I just took some of the, uh, I keep calling it goat's milk, it's shea butter. So here's going to be the top layer where all these leaves adhere to. Hands are all mic it out. I apologize. These I did on purpose. Kind of made them like a vintage. Okay, I'm going to let this set, guys. I would say for a good, uh, I don't know, two hours or so. See you then. Okay, we are back for the unmolding. Okay. It'll be interesting to see what this thing looks like on the inside. I like this. I purposely did it to make it look aged. Where there is some with not, you know, without the mica. Beautiful. And then here's the bottom. Okay, I'm going to cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Boy, I just, I love them. Here's the top. You can still tell that there's leaves on there.
think you can still tell that those are leaves. Pretty colors together. That was one of the sides. I would have cut that I would have you would see a lot of swirls I just don't want to do that all right last one thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please press the like button comment down below become a subscriber uh, when you become a subscriber just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I release a new video thanks and have a great day